Hey there, in this lecture, we'll make the car movement. We'll be creating two objects, O Manager and O Player. O Manager will manage things like creating the cars, input and so on. O Player will be the player's car. O Manager will create O Player in the room and get the mouse or touch input. O Player will then use that input to move. So let's get to it. I'll create the two objects here, O Manager and O Player. Before adding code, I need to set some things up, so I'll open the room and go to the settings here. I'll set the room size to 720 by 1280, which will be our base resolution. Now I'll go to options and open main. Here I'll change the game speed to 60, so it will run at 60 FPS instead of 30, making the game a lot more smooth. Now I'll open O Manager. Here I'll add the create event. Inside it I'll add this. This is the horizontal position of the car in the room, which is a room width multiplied by 0.5. So horizontally, it will be in the center. This is the vertical position of the car, which will be at 85% of the room's height. So it will be near the bottom. I'm storing these values into these local variables created using var. Local variables are temporary, they are deleted when the event ends. Here, the car object is being created at these coordinates inside this layer. So this code will create the car object inside the room. Now I'll add the begin step event. Now I'll add this code here. The begin step event runs before the step event, so it's a good place to get all the input before using it in the step event. This part stores the mouse's x and y coordinates into global variables. Global variables can be accessed by all the objects, so it makes sense to use those for the input variables. We are doing this so that if we ever need to change how the mouse input is received, we could just change it here. This gets whether the left mouse button is being held. This also works for touch devices. Now I'll open O player. I'll click here to assign the car sprite to this object. Now I'll add the create event. I'll create a variable here. This tells how much the car turns when it has to move. So you can change this value to change the turning speed. Now I'll add the step event and add this here. This condition will check whether the mouse button is being held. If it is being held, then this code will run. Using the lerp function, you can smoothly move a value to a target value if you use it like this. So I am moving the instance's x to the mouse's x. Explanation for the lerp function will be in the next lecture. So this way the car will move. Now let's get to the rotation. This variable will get the distance to the mouse. So first, it will subtract mouse x from x and divide it with room width to normalize it. Then, it will multiply the result with turn amount and set it to image angle, which is the rotation of the object. This part will run if the mouse is not held. In that case, the angle will be reset to zero. Now I'll open the room and place O manager here, then run the game. You can control the car with the mouse and it looks really smooth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Check out my other tutorials for learning more and subscribe now to stay updated with more tutorials. So I'll see you in the next one.